name is Todd Stewart. I'm assistant professor of photography and digital imaging at the University of Oklahoma School of Art and Art History. Um, my book is entitled Placing Memory, a Photographic Exploration of Japanese American Internment. Placing Memory is a contemporary look at the 10 internment sites uh, from World War II. Um, I began working on the project, I, I believe it was about 1998, making uh, my first trip to the Manzanar Relocation Center uh, near Independence, California. Uh, stopped there one evening, made some photographs, um, was really emotionally moved by the site. Um, the only really thing standing at the time was the old auditorium from the camp, which at the time was being used to store construction equipment. Other than that, there were some uh, foundations of buildings that remained, uh, some old roads, cemetery, things like that, but for the most part the site was deserted. But what really struck me about the place was that even though there really wasn't anything there, I felt like I could really feel the presence of those 10,000 people who had been relocated there during World War II. So I, I made a series of photographs there over a few days. I made those photographs and was looking for a way to kind of pull those together into a project. For a long time, the history of Japanese American internment has been hidden. In a way, there's a silence to that history. So it was important for me to kind of, um, first of all, contribute to the discourse surrounding, surrounding the internment of Japanese Americans and, and that kind of tragic historical event. But at the same time, um, I felt that the internment of Japanese Americans during World War II was particularly relevant um, to today. Uh, you know, following the, the September 11th attacks and some of the actions that, that, that took place you know, post 9-11 post um, were dangerously close to mimicking the events of World War II and, and uh, not just here but throughout the world. So I, I mean I felt like you know it was important to once again say that the dangers of racial intolerance are significant and we need to be aware of these.